Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Monday and the fifth of our specials on LGBTQ plus trailblazers. The first transgender archdeacon in the Church of England is Rachel Mann. She was appointed last year to oversee Bolton and Salford in the North and said she was humbled and excited. The 54-year-old is also a poet and author, having published 14 books, some of which explore questions of trans identity and faith. Rachel tells the Oasis organisation Christians talk about the triune God, so three in one, and she argues that means he's an ally. This is a God who we can know in the person of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But this is the queerest God imaginable. A God who is three, yet one, who holds that queerness within their very being, who holds community and difference and identity in their very being. When she was a child, Rachel would ask God every evening to let her wake up as a girl. Says it wasn't until she completed a transition in the late 90s she really had a life. <music> Coleman Domingo has been referred to as the first black, out, gay film star. The actor was nominated at this year's Oscars for his lead role in Rustin as the gay civil rights activist Bayard Rustin. And that recognition saw Coleman make history as only the second out gay man and the first black gay man to be nominated for playing a gay character. He's also Albert Mr. Johnson in the remake of The Colour Purple. And Anik Sonny is an intersex broadcaster, writer and activist, raising awareness of people born with a mix of male and female biological traits. He was 21 when he came out, having lived in fear of people knowing and attempted to take his own life. Since then, he's organised the first intersex march at London Pride and helped set up the Interconnected UK charity, providing support and advocacy. The 29-year-old also wants a change in the school curriculum to teach children what happens when you have a body that doesn't fit in. I'm Kev McGraw. We'll continue our Pride Daily specials on LGBTQ plus trailblazers tomorrow.